Hi. Hello. Hello, Eliza. Oh. Hi, Alex. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our last class for today. Can't wait because it's going to be my own birthday. Yeah. My grandma's birthday today. Huh? My grandpa's birthday, my mom's dad's birthday today. Oh, how old is your grandfather? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm still excited because I get to see my uncle, but I'm older than my uncle. Really? Yes, he's like five, and I'm eight. And he, I was born than him, and he's still my uncle. Because he's my mommy's brother. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> oh, that is I so was, nice. I was like, I call him Dodon, but my mom, I call him uncle. uncle. Mm. My father named So after. young. Is, is four. I was like seven, he was four. My uh, Father named Donald Ramon. Might be fun. I have a son, which is my daddy. Mm. Okay, so let's go over now. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our last class for today. So, this time we're going to talk about, we're going to learn new values. <laughs> about sportmanship what do you know or what do you think about sportmanship what is it all about you have any idea what is sportmanship is no hmm? you, play you do not cheat mm -hmm. okay so we'll we'll learn about we will learn more about sportmanship and what is it all about now, there are words that we need to learn first. So you have the first word, incredibly. Okay, can you please say the word, incredibly? Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredibly Incredible. means Incredible. extremely or unusually. Okay, extremely or unusually. Then you have <laughs> criticizing. Criticizing. It is... Okay, can you please say the word criticizing? Criticizing. Criticizing. Okay, so if you say criticizing, it means expressing judgment on someone. Mm -hmm. You criticize people, okay, criticizing them. Okay, it expresses judgment or someone. Today, we're going to read flying the story, contest. The Flying Contest. So, you have here the Flying Contest. Two bats were training for a great flying competition in which all bats took part. On the day of the race, the smaller bat flew incredibly well. Clearly deserving the prize, the bigger bat Although very disappointed at not having one, ran to congratulate him. While the other bats started criticizing him or went away in anger. See, do you know anyone who's like this? Like, instead of congratulating them, they... Um, um, they actually get mad to the winners, okay? So we should not be like that. Instead, we should congratulate them with a smile. Because I know someone who is like this when I was in college. When we were in college, we were just playing games. And then our team won in the volleyball event. What happened was he was really mad was really mad because they didn't win. So he just went away, walked away with a B or teacher or a boy. It's a he. 
Okay, he's a boy. So he went away, he walked away with a bitter heart. And the, the rest of us with our teammates were just laughing. We're laughing because he cannot accept defeat. How about you, teacher? Did you laugh or did you like got like you feel bad for him? I feel bad for him. And then I just I was like I was about to talk to him and he just like ignored so nah we cannot do anything. Like he was like, like, he was, like wearing I'm headphones. Running the quiz like walking around. Yeah. He mm. was getting my trophy and my medal. Okay, so, so so we I should we should like we that. should uh let's not let's not judge huh? oh johan is no longer like that because johan can already accept defeat like what happened last time when we were when we were playing quizzes right he always congratulate his classmates so, oh. mm -hmm. so Sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. That's what they call sportsmanship. Okay, so mm -hmm. grateful the new champion decided to share the prize. See, the, the new champion was so kind. So he shared his prize. The little bat had, had, had not only won the race and the prize, but he also won a friend. And all this came about for being a good sport okay so if you're a good sport in playing a game you don't make enemies instead you can gain new friends i get it mm -mm, you got it so being a good sport means gaining more friends not having a lot of enemies all right so let's answer the following question so who won the flying contest the smaller bat mm -hmm. yeah. the small bat right so what did mm -hmm. the bigger bat do after the game he got mad he got sad oh did he he got happy and cared with toys he got disappointed. He was disappointed. Mm. He was disappointed, right? But even though he's disappointed, he still managed to congratulate the small bat. bat. So how about the other bats? Uh, I forgot they were the hmm? What happened they to them? Away. I didn't walk away. Yes, they walk away with bitterness. Uh -huh. They walk away with bitterness. So what lesson did you learn in the story? Never, never, never get jealous of somebody who won. And, and always congratulate my friends. And share yes okay so always congratulate them always be positive and accept defeat right also um we should be happy for those people who are winning because our time will come and we will also get the chance to feel the same way they felt right my prequisite Mm -mm. Okay, so why is it important? Why is why is sportsmanship sportsmanship important in a game? Why do you think so? Hmm? Yes, anyone wants to share their answers? Okay, Zach, why? We need to show sportsmanship so you need to accept defeat because if you don't accept defeat, you have no friends. And everybody will tell you that you are like bad, you're mean, and then you are guessing going to be lonely and you're going to be, you know, for Yes, that's actually the reality. That's the reality. Okay. 
So we yeah. should always, always um, be happy. Lah. Just what I said, be happy when others are winning. Okay, next. So how do you show sportsmanship then? How? How do you show it? You need, you need, you need to, you need to accept defeat and never hurt anybody when you are playing something like a contest or field mm -mm. like that. Mm -mm. Never, you know, hurt somebody. Yes. Okay. So to accept sportsmanship, sportsmanship, you need to, you need not to give like negative, um. Feedback towards the winner. Example, ah, he only win because he's a cheater. Ah, he only win because his dad is one of the judge. Like that. We should not say those words, okay? It's really bad. Right, so sportsmanship, again, <clears throat> isn't just about shaking hands after the game. It's about helping young athletes enjoy the spirit of competition. So here are some ways that you can show others what good sportsmanship is all about. So number one, be polite. Okay, be polite. What is what is it? Be polite to everyone you're playing with and against. No trash talk. Do you know what trash talk is? Huh? Bad words. Yes, it's saying bad, bad words. Mm. Example, if you are playing online games, right? You say bad words towards your members because your online game is about to lose. You should not I say... I'm not luckily, I play private. Luckily, mm. I play private by myself. Yes. Okay, so, mm. saying mean things in the middle of I a game. Example, no. Mm -hmm. Example, one of your... One of your team member keep on missing the ball then you say you're so clumsy you see so it's i want to say that i will teach him to like pray properly mm -mm. so you should not trash them them instead encourage them like you can do it like that Number two, don't show off. What do you mean by don't show off? So just play your best and if you're good, be don't, so like, don't let them be jealous of you. Don't let them show off. Like, don't show don't off. Example, I'm I'm the best in the team. Like that. You keep on yeah, like yeah, like, like you brought out your rare like Gucci bag. And they're gonna be like, oh she's going off. Yeah, yeah. And she like, think I am I'm rich. Yeah, I'm, I'm rich. In the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, what number is, three. I am also rich. <laughs> okay, number three is tell your you opponents good game. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Tell I'm your sure opponents you good game. So whether you or won for... or you've lost, always say good game, everyone. Good game like that. So that's mm -hmm. being sportsmanship. Good game or GG for short. <laughs> yeah, GG for short. But for me, GG is also like great game like that. Next, number okay. four, the okay. rules of the game. Learn the rules of the game. So always know the rules of the game before you dive in. Show okay. up for practices and games on time, even if you're the start of the team. You can okay. you know something. Some star of the team will be just, nah, I already know it. I'm the star of the team. I'm not going there. So, it's really not nice, okay? Yeah. Next, number five. Listen to your coaches. Always listen to your coaches. Just because you're the star of the game doesn't mean you, won't not, you will not listen to your coach, okay? They still... <laughs> 
just listen your coach when he says something you do the wrong thing so so you need to listen to your coach exactly okay next number six don't make up excuses or blame a teammate when you lose example oh because because you're so clumsy you don't know how to catch a ball so you should not actually um, make excuses or blame someone for losing the game, okay? Or if you have practice, like, today we will have practice, and then you say, no, I'm not feeling well, I'm lazy, or I'm not feeling well, I have stomach ache, toothache, ache, ache, any ache, ache that you have, okay? Next, number seven, be willing to sit out so other team members can get in the game. So even if you, you're a better player, you should always give a chance to the rest of your teammates, right? Mm -mm. Next, another one is number, number eight, play fair and don't cheat. It's really important that you should not cheat, all right? Mm -hmm. Because when you get caught, when you when you get caught by cheating, you will be disqualified. And if you are disqualified, if people will know that you are cheating, the people, all the people, will see you as a bad person. Mm. Next, number nine, cheer for your teammates. So if you cheer for your teammates, even if the score is 1,000 to 1, you could inspire a big comeback. I do believe in this big comeback. Okay, so uh, there was a, a story. Um, so we were playing and then like it's already 0 8, zero 8. And then one of our teammates, one of our teammates was just like warming up from from time to time then we start getting scores from one until it become 10 so what happened was it, it was like nine over 10 and we got the 10 so we became the winners it was indeed a big comeback from the game of volleyball it was so nice because we thought that we are losing the game but then it we didn't lose the game. Instead, we just had a big comeback. So always cheer your teammates. It's really a big yeah. help. Somebody will say, one in the basketball mm -mm. team. And then she said, she go to another person. And then she said, congratulations. She didn't say, so don't ignore, don't ignore your classmates. Mm, exactly. Okay, so you should always like, you should always like, um, cheer your classmates or your teammates. Uh -huh. mm -mm. You should cheer your classmates. Mm -mm. Yes. yes, Zach. Do you know that if you mm. like the um, if you cannot get it, yeah. If okay. you, but don't have sports that cheat, you are gonna like be punished, like be bullied because you don't like being, you don't want to, you're gonna be punished. Mm. Mm -hmm. like, right yes. Okay, so let's continue now. Let's have nine, number 10. So here you have number 10, always show respect for yourself, your team, and the officials of the game. So if you say show respect to yourself, your team, and the officials of the game, you should not cheat, you should not trash talk, and you should not blame your teammates and mm -hmm, other members. Also for the officials of the game, like the coach, should always follow their rules and directions. Okay, like you should also not spit on them. Have you watched like sports TV? Have you no. watched sports TV? And there are like rude players. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm -mm, there are rude players. They will actually um get into an argument with their coaches. And it's really bad because the game is becoming from good into worst game. Mm. So, I, have, I don't like to watch my, my games. I don't like to watch games. That so you don't do watch sports TV? TV? It's actually yeah, I don't nice. Like sports TV. I like it. Mm. I see. I Sports TV is really nice. I like watching it. You know, like the volleyball. I watch it. The, mm -mm. I, want, I watch it. Basketball. Mm -mm, it's really nice. Right? Look at the. the uh, so if you if you That's actually nice. watch sports TV, you know you will learn how to, how to play the sports and become familiar with the uh, rules of the game. Okay, so do you have any questions about our topic in values? No. No question? No. Okay, so what, what, what do you, what, what have you learned in our values um, moral lesson today? Not to talk bad to other players. Not to cheat. Do not say bad words. Mm -hmm. What else? Not to cheat. 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 Mm -hmm. Julia said to be when mm -hmm. the eldest and the first step and I will tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be good sportsmanship, right? Yeah. Right, so that's it for today. Now let's say goodbye and we'll see each other again tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Right, so goodbye everyone. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Andy. Bye. 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 Bye